Today, I'm going to talk you through the six most effective exercises that you need to be including in your workout plan. Because if you're a man over 35, I expect your priorities have shifted quite a bit in the last few years. Whether it's a wife, kids, work, or all three. I know that you don't have two hours to spend in the gym like you did in your 20s, but the good news is that you don't need it. There's a wild misconception that you need to be training for two hours every day to burn fat and build muscle, but that couldn't be further from the truth. I've been a personal trainer and nutritionist for over five years, and I've helped hundreds of men to get into the best shape of their life. And most of them did that, working out just 45 minutes, three times a week. Because getting the best result from your training is all about designing your workout plan to be as efficient and effective as possible, while burning the most calories. So if you do the six exercises that I'm about to talk you through, if you use lighter weight so that you can work your muscles through the full range of motion, and if you do four sets of 15 to 20 reps with 45 to 60 second rest, then you're gonna get more done in less time. Because think about it, if you do the usual three sets of 10 that you see everybody else doing, you're gonna be doing 30 reps per exercise. But if you do four sets of 20, now you're gonna be doing 80 reps. And because you're gonna be lifting lighter weight than you normally do, you're only gonna need 45 to 60 seconds of rest rather than the usual two minutes. Not only that though, because you're doing more than double the number of reps, even though you're lifting lighter weight, you're actually gonna do more volume. You're gonna lift more weight overall. And to top it all off, you'll be spending less time moving between machines, loading and unloading weight and waiting for equipment to become available. So with less exercise variety, shorter rest periods and higher rep ranges, we're making your workouts far more efficient. That means you can get in and out of the gym in less time without compromising on the effectiveness of the workout and still getting the results that you actually want. Now, in terms of the six exercises, five of them are what we call compound movements. Don't worry if you don't know what they are, if you've never heard that term before, I'm gonna explain it in a second. But this was a game changer for me because back when I first started going to the gym, my workouts consisted of sit-ups and bicep curls. I just didn't know any better back then. And to be honest with you, I was just copying the rookie cut scenes because in my head, if it worked for Sly, it would work for me, right? Wrong. Exercises like bicep curls and sit-ups are what we call isolation exercises because they only work individual muscles and normally the smaller ones. You might think it makes sense to do ab workouts to get abs, but you really won't make much progress doing those. Instead, what you wanna prioritize are the multi-joint exercises that use the biggest muscles in your body. And that's what we call compound movements. These exercises use the biggest muscles and will get you the best results in the shortest amount of time. But what's even cooler is that they help you to burn the most calories and lose fat faster. Because the bigger the muscle, the harder your body has to work. The harder your lungs have to work to breathe in that oxygen. The harder your heart has to work to pump that oxygen in the blood to the muscle. And the harder the muscle has to work to create a big enough contraction for you to be able to lift the weight. So I've got three exercises for your legs and three for your upper body to create a well-balanced workout and bulletproof physique, which makes them essential for men over 35 who wanna stay fit, strong, and injury free. But what I've also done is picked exercises that require minimal equipment. So if you can't get into a gym for whatever reason, you can spend a hundred bucks and get started from home. First up is the squat. This could be as basic as a bodyweight squat if you're a complete beginner. If if you're more of an intermediate, then you might want to graduate up to a dumbbell goblet squat. And if you're an advanced gym goer, then you want to be doing barbell back squats or even using a hack or a pendulum squat machine. Squats are a powerhouse exercise for building lower body strength and stability. They also improve your mobility and strengthen your core, which is really going to help to protect your lower back. Next up is the deadlift. So with deadlifts, you can start with dumbbells and then work your way up to barbells. Deadlifts are awesome. In fact, being honest with you, they're probably my favorite exercise. And the reason being is that they are a full body workout. They use pretty much every single muscle in your body, but particularly the muscles in your posterior chain, which runs all the way from the base of your neck all the way down to your Achilles heel. In particular, the hamstrings, the glutes, and the major muscles in your back. Not only are they fantastic for building full body strength, but because they use so many muscles and so many big muscles, they burn a 
ton of calories. But a huge benefit for guys, particularly guys over 35, is how it's going to help to strengthen your lower back. The final leg exercise is lunges. Lunges are an exercise, right? But I also like to think of them as a skill. And that's because as well as helping you to get fitter and stronger, they're also helping with your coordination, your balance, and your stability. What's great about lunges is that they activate pretty much all the major muscles in your lower body. So again, they're going to burn a ton of calories and they're very effective because they work so many muscles at once. Now, as I said, as well as being an exercise, they are a skill. So if you are brand new to lunges, take it easy. I would just start with bodyweight lunges in your living room. Once you've built up a little bit of balance, a little bit more coordination and strength, then you can graduate up to dumbbell walking lunges. And if you are a real advanced gym goer, I would actually recommend doing a Bulgarian split lunge. Some people call it a Bulgarian split squat. But for me, it looks more like a lunge. Now listen, don't get me wrong. That exercise, the Bulgarian split, squat, lunge, whatever you want to call it, is amongst the worst, but also the best that you can do in the gym. It's certainly one that wherever I give myself the excuse, I will avoid it. But it is so damn effective for building leg strength and burning a ton of calories. But just to clarify, do not start there. If you are brand new to the gym, if you've never done lunges before, or even if you haven't done lunges for a few months, just ease your way into it. Moving on to the upper body, we're starting with an incline dumbbell press. Now this specifically targets the upper portion of the chest, which tends to be more underdeveloped for men. But the reason I prefer this exercise and think it's more effective than a flat bench press, and the reason I give it to so many of my clients, is because it puts less stress and less pressure onto the shoulder joint. So not only is it more effective, but it's safer too. And if you want bonus points, then you can superset these with push-ups, which are going to double your gains and strengthen your core. Then we've got pull-ups. Now these are a challenging, but I would say essential exercise to add to your plan. I appreciate these can be tough, particularly if you're new. If you are brand new to pull-ups, I recommend that you start just by hanging with your arms or fully extended. This is gonna improve your grip and your forearm strength. Then you're gonna to wanna to progress to what we call controlled negatives. This is where you're gonna to wanna to stand on a chair so you can hoist yourself up to the top position of the pull-up and slowly lower yourself down until your arms are fully extended and you're hanging at the bottom. And trust me, if you practice these every single day, you will make phenomenally fast progress. Without doubt, the hardest part is going from zero to one. Once you can do one, you'll be able to do 10 in a month or so. Pull-ups emphasize the lats, helping to create that V-shaped physique. But what most people don't realize is that pull-ups are also a fantastic core exercise. And finally, we've got dumbbell lateral raises. Now, this is the only exercise of the six that we've talked about today, which isn't a compound move, but I've included it for two reasons. Firstly, because they isolate and build your shoulders outwards, giving you a wider and more defined upper body. But secondly, equally as important, but more sensible, is because this exercise improves shoulder stability, which helps protect a pretty important joint, particularly as you get older. Okay, so that's how I would structure your workouts, and those are the six exercises I'd recommend you prioritize. But I'm not done, because the biggest mistake that I see most guys make in the gym is that they do the same same thing over and over again and expect to get a different result. Now, if that sounds like you, don't worry. Let me explain a very simple solution. Have you ever heard the story of Milo and the bull? I have no idea if this is a true story, but it's pretty cool. So the story goes, this dude called Milo had a baby bull, a calf. Anyway, for some reason, I don't know why, maybe he was mental, he decided he was going to carry this bull up a hill every day. And as the calf grew into a bull, Milo continued to lift it day after day. So you see, as the weight slowly increased, Milo's body had no choice but to adapt. And that's exactly the same principle that you need to apply to your workouts to get fitter and stronger. Except the good news is that you don't need to carry a bull because these days we have gym memberships. Now, what I've just described is called progressive overload. And here's how it works. When you lift weights, your muscles get used to the effort. So to keep getting stronger and building muscle, you have to do one of three things. You either have to lift more weight, you have to do more reps each set, or you have to do an extra set. It really is that simple, but the challenge is in the consistency. And before I go though, I wanna leave you with a piece of advice that's gonna turbocharge your progress. And that's to do the opposite of everybody else in the gym. Because hear me out, 95% of people, I would say, in the gym don't have a clue what they're doing. 
they're not training hard enough, they aren't training good form, and they're not following your program. Because not only are they spending half their time on their phone, they're just doing a random collection of mostly isolation exercises and doing three sets of 10. My clients aren't doing average programs, but because of that, they're not getting average results. You wanna make sure that you're in control of the weight and not the other way around. And whatever you do, don't lift weights that you know are too heavy for you because you're not gonna put any mechanical tension on the muscle, so the muscle's not gonna grow. You're far more likely to get injured. And trust me, that girl over there, she's not impressed. She doesn't care. Now listen, I'll be honest with you. If you've made it to the end of this video, you're probably a great candidate for my coaching program. You're gonna get your own personalized workout program, a flexible approach to nutrition that actually works, and a ton of accountability with weekly check-ins and monthly coaching calls. And I've just launched a new website which shows you exactly how my coaching program works. So if you wanna check it out, click the link that's in the description underneath this video, or you can watch this video next. The choice is yours.